nobody's business. Game on. Paolo Webb versus HK Dash. Brazilian boys. Here we go. Round number one of game one. Oh, oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> They're just <laughs> infiltrating each other's pace I forgot about pretty that. fast. Yeah. HK Dash with a quick start. I like it. Now, we talked about Bison having really far mm -hmm. normals, reaching out just like that, getting the crush counter. And look at the damage already out the gate. Yeah, I mean, Paolo's already got that v ready to go. About to get stunned, though. Have we just started and we're already getting this much damage? That's going to be a perfect. perfect to kick started. things off. That's the best way to start my day. Beautiful. Right? Seeing nothing but those seven letters down the tunnel of love with the feathers on her head. Perfect. Tunnel of love with the feathers on the head. Perfect. No like perfect it. this round. Paolo. Land that standing medium kick, fantastic knee attack from Laura. And even better anti air from HK Dash. Great awareness, lowering himself with the crouch jab. Lowering the hurt box, but still having that active hitbox. But dear God, he's coming in. And that was the escape that we saw. We talked about the EX Devil's Reverse, and that time he immediately went to the V skill dash with Laura to escape with. And that's the second time Paulo Webb has taken airborne approaches, and it hasn't worked out for him thus far, but he finally gets the party started. Reset. Nice Doesn't jump work. out. Yeah, he went for the command grab. Neutral jump's going to beat it. Swapping with the Cycle Axe. A little miss there, but still retaining that corner pressure. Exactly what HK Dash needs as Bison. Oh, oh God. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that slight walk back into Roundhouse caught everybody. It's a tiny walk speed, you know, but it's like, oh, I'm just going to take this millimeter step back. You're going to freak out and boom. Yeah, in that instance, you know, it's kind of tough against, like, playing against Bison players because although he walks relatively slow mm -hmm. he has like one of the he does have the slowest walk speed i should say mm -hmm. um his back throw range is phenomenal yeah he's got not great the throw the range game. right so just having that in your brain it's understandable why paulo went for the grab of course right? yeah it's such it's such a risky mix-up between just grabs and the roundhouse from bison even when he has his v trigger dash he's dashing right. either side of you right so that's the common mix-up from bison players but regardless hk dash gonna get that first game pretty convincingly there yeah that was a quick uh two rounds straight uh first one starting off with the perfect Again, that's a great wake-up call mm -hmm. and, you know, for everybody. Also, a great call on the command grab on that reset yes. attempt. Yes. You know, he immediately was recognized, like, all right, he went for the side switch here, but I don't think he wants to actually side switch me. He wants to grab me because he wants me to block, but mm -hmm. I'm just going to neutral jump. So, mm -hmm. you know, impressive read there from him. I think he's pre prepared for the matchup against the player as well, not just the character. Yeah, it seems that way. I mean, there was nothing for him to really fear because it was pretty early. Again, this is only game one. We just started here, mm -hmm. uh, but HK Dash already off to a great start to... Uh, Almost knocking Paulo up into losers. It looked, it looked pretty convincing. That was that was pretty admit. dominant. That was pretty dominant. You just got to watch out because, you know, Laura, you know, once she gets a little bit of steamroll and it's over. Oh, yeah. So in that instance, you know, if he had landed a command grab, he might have just flipped the whole round around and then all of a sudden the game might have been in his favor. Yeah. We haven't seen how HK Dash really reacts to Meaties quite yet mm -hmm. as we haven't seen a significant knockdown. Haven't had a chance to do it yet. Yeah. So uh, for pretty much the most part, Paulo, well, we've seen him get caught numerous times on Wake Up with a Psycho Axe, the down forward fierce mm -hmm. from Bison, crush yep. countering. Uh, I kind of want to see what his adaptation is coming into the next round because I, I feel like that was just too much of a, a freebie. A lot of times, out. you know, these players, not, I was going to say these players, but a lot of players, they just don't want to use their V-meter because they want to save it for that V-trigger. Yes. But Bison is one of those characters that just is able to lock you down so hard that it really forces you to spend that V-meter on V-reversals. Mm -hmm. So we'll see if he starts bringing out some of the V-reversals here in game two. Yeah, and keeping that in mind, uh, you won't be able to activate party time as fast if you're using that V reversal. Mm -hmm. So he's really got to pick and choose his spots. Right, but at least it's a two bar V trigger, so you can be a little free and still free with the V reversals and right. still able to activate the trigger Round later one. in the round. So let's see what he does with it. Paolo Web. First, HK Dash game number two now. And already oh out the God. gate. Yeah, that Psycho Axe, as you mentioned, so much pressure and so hard for Paolo to deal with. And look, he's already got two bars of V trigger. V me ready to go, and he's nope. about to get stunned. Is it going to be perfect again? Oh, no! That was a V reversal. That had to be. Was. That was forward, forward heavy fierce. You're not, that, you're not that much of a god. Like, <laughs> was, while you're cornered <laughs> and he's in your face? That was pretty cool, though. I mean, activation <laughs> for the party time. Goes for the reset. That was pretty interesting. Stand short. Kind of continuing that combo. But here comes HK Dash. Completely unfazed. Surprise. Sunset wheel. We're in there. Another one. Meeting? Yep. Good call. Paulo Webb getting the mix-ups going. Keeping Maybe. HK Dash honest. It's gonna go down here. Oh, look out! Nice throw check. Had uh -oh. he followed through with the combo, just one more jab, it would have been over. Got trigger available. Oh my God! He empty jumped. That was the sickest anti air I've ever Standing seen. Standing light kick anti air against the empty jump. I think these guys might play each other. You know, <laughs> it's a little bit. <laughs> they were two steps ahead of each other. That was insane. What a read. <laughs> Paulo Webb with the reads. Finishing the combo this time around. Now he gets that corner advantage, but didn't get the median time. You saw that stand short so strong for Bison. 
Oh, caught the dash. That was the escape try to use last time. No, you know, not a lot of Bisons opt to go for that target combo anymore. Uh, getting oh. that. Oh, whoa, wait a minute. Neutral jump pays off this time for him. That's got to be a stun, Rip. Uh huh. Charging up the thunderclap. Yeah, has to do it. Forward, fierce. Reset. Like dead. Oh my God! In the front. In the front. Yeah, and this adaptation back and forth game. It's uh, <laughs> it's gonna be a problem with uh, the likes of Laura and Bison. HK Dash faltering to follow up this time around. That was very surprising. You know, the second round really looked like it was going HK Dash's favor. All of a sudden, V Trigger came into play and Laura wins. Yeah, off that corner reset, you had to kind of expect it. Mm -hmm. uh, you saw the scaling, how much uh, how much of that took place uh, in that last combo during party time, or V-Trigger for Laura. Um, he had to see that oh, not God. killing and respond accordingly because he just got meatied, right. basically, and that's pretty much how he faltered there. Really unfortunate for HK Dash, but again, it's only one-to-one. -one. It's still pretty early. Yeah, but still very surprising. You know, the way that HK Dash came out in the first game, it just seemed like he was going to dominate the set, you know, but instead, early tie, one-one. I mean, who knows? We don't have too much information about these players. They could be neighbors. They could be training <laughs> they're, partners. They're neighbors. Who knows? They live in the same house. Probably. And they just have two PS4s. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're sharing connectivity right now. They're wow. Just, That's why they have a solid connection to one of them? Probably. You know, you never know. But uh, again, H HK Dash and Paulo Webb all tied up here. Bison versus Laura. Now, what kind of adaptations do you think uh, should be made for HK Dash? You know, it's really hard to say. I mean, the Psycho Axe was still paying off. Yes. You know, even his head stomps were still paying off. Everything was still working out, except that he got caught by the V-Trigger once, and then everything just kind of unraveled really quickly. He fell for one neutral jump setup he, that he tried to throw check, so maybe, you know, be a little more cautious about that. He has been throw checking pretty heavily defensively, mm -hmm. so maybe just take some of those throws. Yeah. Uh, it's kind of looking like, for both players, whoever's on the defensive end is the weaker one. Mm -hmm. So they just want to get their their offense started to get that advantage right. over the other. That's what it's been looking like so far. We're going to see how it all winds out in the third game between Round these two one. individuals. One to one. Fight. An immediate jump in. I like the jump in from HK Dash. Oh my goodness. Oh, you heard the change getting knocked out of mm -hmm. her pockets. Yeah, that was a crush counter. More pressure again. HK Dash starts off with a pretty big lead here. And look at that. Maintaining the pressure. But again, Paula Webb now getting... The command grab, but still no meaties to kind of scare HK Dash. He's already pressuring Paulo Webb into this corner pressure. Oh, big jump in. Oh, the throw. Yeah, that throw whip was excellent. Paulo Webb going oh, for the reset. Side. Oh, he, he could have finished it. No, he didn't. <laughs> Definitely not, Rip. Yeah, I honestly thought he got away, but uh, it's pretty close stuff. Paulo Webb could have got the stun way earlier had he finished his plate, but either way. a yeah, great decision for the chase down there. Use that overhead V skill. Oh my oh. gosh, and he got him again with the neutral jump. And the reset, that's going to be stunned. Are we going to see a potential perfect here? Thunderclap? Hey. He's got to answer back. Nice, meaty. Yeah, HK Dash not falling for it oh this time, but this gosh. is a problem. The jump ins and the throw baits all paying off. There's another perfect. And this time it's for Paolo Webb. Man, and a quick it right game. Yeah, Super it. quick. It's, it's pretty insane. He gave it right back to HK Dash. Uh, his offense is looking a lot cleaner. Mm -hmm. You know, one small hiccup in the first round. But either way, getting a perfect over HK Dash, that's sending so many signals. Right? Yeah, and I think the main thing that's different from these last two games compared to the first game are the jump-ins. Paolo yes. wasn't jumping in at all in the first game, and the last two games he jumped in successfully numerous times. And not even cross-up jumps, which are you know primarily the best way to jump in on a bison. Yeah. Uh, so right now, HK Dash really needs to start stepping up his anti-air game. Yeah, if he needs to, he could always use the, the hell attack from Bison, like jumping back with a strong, strong, mm -hmm. that target oh, combo in the air. Yep. Yeah, it comes out so quick, mm -hmm. and it's you could juggle into it. Yeah, it's Off, great. Also, it's, it's, free, it's pretty much free damage if you manage to land it. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, during the first game, HK Dash opted to go for a crouch jab anti-air a couple of times, but the angles that Paulo Webb has been jumping at mm -hmm. hasn't really... Uh, I guess it changed up the strategy for him. These jump-ins are connecting a lot more consistently than before just because of the slight spacing adjustment. Uh, so, again, this is where HK Dash really needs to spot where his enter errors are going to be effective or he should just go for the air-to-air -air decision. Or block. Or block <laughs> it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with blocking. Uh, again, he's probably scared of the command grab, mm -hmm. as you know, I, I would be too. I mean, not even the command grab. A lot of times he's, he's getting hit and then he's trying to throw tech. Yes. Uh, you know, and so he's falling for the neutral jump follow-ups after he blocks the sex festival jump in as well. So, <laughs> you know, just blocking in general might be a good answer here. And on the other hand, like you mentioned, Laura's going to have that command grab ready in case he does. So it's, uh, it's a huge guessing game for him. And we'll see between these two guys. It's going to be uh, game number four. Paulo Webb looking pretty nice in his one-game lead. It's two to one. 
So this could potentially be it for HK Dash almost into the loser's bracket because this is only the first round of winners here in the top eight. Yeah, and you mentioned both players Diamond. I just realized Paolo Web, Ult Diamond rank 81 versus rank 15, 28. Paolo Web, a significant rank advantage. And playing like he does, he's already uh, trying to figure out a way to infiltrate HK Dash's uh, neutral here. Nice. Yeah, Back-to-back -back throws, yeah. Great early lead for HK Dash. Now he's, and again, Paolo, he's got that trigger ready to go because of it. Again, those jumping angles. HK Dash a lot more reluctant to anti-air this time around. Oh, great nice. neutral jump. Excellent spacing. Uh -huh. No whip punish. Is he going to go for the meaty setup? He does it. That was nasty. Had he finished that, could have gotten the stun, but here comes HK Dash with a potential comeback. Yeah, great opportunity. Oh, my God. What a great dash. Oh, he was ready for totally it. Totally ready. Didn't finish the play here, but he still gets the counter hit you see right there flashing on your side of the screen. He pressed the button in between. Not the optimal choice to press buttons. But regardless, set point now for Paolo Webb. Looking to close it out here against HK Dash in our first set of the day. Looks like he was just warming up, Rip. Yeah, first set. Got to shake off the rust a little bit. Oh my gosh, that was close to a nice throw bait setup. I like that. Yeah, he has to keep himself uh, on the pressure after that stand fierce. Using that cycle boss afterwards. I feel like every round, HK Dash has had a huge early lead, and then the V-Trigger activates, and he dies. Let's see what happens. He's I got mean, a significant lead here. That sounds pretty common if you're playing against the mm -hmm. Laura. Anti-air is good that time. Ooh. Way to check again with that cycle burst. Wow. Activation. Party time. Oh, bigger charge. Oh my god. Did you see that? He that literally was walked into it, assuming that was going to be a cross up. Meaty. Oh, great V reversal usage there. Take down the stun gauge because of it. Excellent. going to survive. Very good choices here. We've mentioned before in uh, numerous occasions where if you use V reversal, if you have a significant life lead, that's definitely going to help you in the long run. Because you don't really need that comeback factor if you right. have that lead. Dev reversal stopped. And again, Powell up, still set point. Nice anti air crouch jab from HK Dash. Yeah, just kind of trying to close the gap immediately after with that head stomp. Spending the meter. And a lot more a lot more patient this time around with his approach. HK Dash just getting these safe strings in. Apollo Web, no answer just yet. Yeah, he's really sitting back and just blocking a lot of this offense from HK Dash right now. He's not trying to oh. overcommit. And right when I say that, he goes for the dashing crush counter. And oh here, even goodness. great, even on the trade right now. Painting the fence, using all the fierces. Cycle Blaster starts to start that offense, but it's party time. Don't sleep on it. Follow Web. Yo, the double dash, here comes the command grabs. Nice, mm -hmm. Meaty can continue the combo. That was a counter hit. Oh, oh one, one more for stun. He gets he it with gets the Meaty. It. Good that night. That is it. Paula Web sending HK Dash to the loser side with a little bit of electricity to go with it. Yikes. HK Dash was looking so good in that game, but Paolo Webb got the stun, able to close it out and take the set 3-1. to one. Yeah, that was...